Hello kids! Welcome back to Mathematics 5. Today we are in the third week of the first quarter. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss about PEMDAS or GEMDAS rule. After going through this lesson, you are expected to perform a series of more than two operations on whole numbers applying PEMDAS or GEMDAS correctly. We have here 15 plus 1 minus 5. So our expressions involves addition and subtraction only. So we should do them from left to right. So yung nasa left muna, which is 15 plus 1 is equals to 16, then minus 5. The answer is 11. Again, if our expressions involves addition and subtraction only, we should do them from left to right. How about this one? 5 times 8 divided by 2. So our expressions involves multiplication and division. We should do them from left to right. So unahin natin si 5 times 8. The answer is 40. Then divided by 2. The answer is 20. How about this one? Our expressions involves addition and multiplication. So, kanina, kapag magkasama ang addition and subtraction, we should do them from left to right. Pag magkasama si multiplication and division, we should do them from left to right also. So, kapag naman magkasama si addition and multiplication, dito napapasok yung m das. So, m is for multiplication, D is for division, A is for addition, S is for subtraction. So, sa MDAS, mas mauna si letter M, which is multiplication, kesa sa letter A na addition. So, uunahin natin yung 9 times 3. 9 times 3 is equals to 27, then plus 5, the answer is 32. PEMDAS. So, we have here 8, then times, meron tayong parenthesis. So, sa loob is 3 minus 1. So, sa PEMDAS, nauna sa letter P, which is parenthesis. So, ito yung ating uunahin. So, 3 minus 1 is equals to 2. Then, multiply natin by 8. So, 8 times 2. The answer is 16. To perform a series of operations on whole numbers involving more than two operations using PEMDAS or GEMDAS rules. Rule number one, perform the operations within each pair of grouping symbols. So, unahin natin kung ano yung nasa loob. So, nasa parentheses, brackets, or braces. Rule number two. Perform multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. Pag magkasama si multiplication and division, we should do them from left to right. Rule number 3. Perform addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. So, pag magkasama si addition and subtraction, left to right lang din. To perform a series of operations on whole numbers involving more than two operations using PEMDAS or GEMDAS rule. Example. So, kung makikita natin dito, meron tayong parenthesis. So, uunahin natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, sa loob ng parenthesis, meron tayong addition and multiplication. So, uunahin natin si multiplication. Solve the operation inside the parentheses. Multiply 2 and 5 first. So, 2 times 5 is equals to 10. Then, perform the multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. Pag na-multiply na natin yung 2 times 5, 
Ang susunod na natin, we are going to add 4 and 10. So, 4 plus 10 is equals to 14. And then, we are going to divide it by 7, then plus 3. Divide 14 by 7. So, 14 divided by 7, the answer is... 2. So, yung 3, nanggaling lang yun dun sa taas kanina. So, dito, nilagay natin yung 3. And then, rule number 3, perform the addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. So, ito yung kanina. So, yung 2 plus 3, yun na yung last step natin. Add 2 and 3. So, the answer, our final answer is equals to 5. Let's try another example. So, ito. So, ano uunahin natin? So, meron tayo dito division. Meron tayong multiplication. Meron tayong subtraction and addition. So, unahin natin, syempre, yung division. So, 400 divided by 2. Then, kinopya lang natin yung 5. Dito. So, 120. Then, yung 5. So, unahin natin. 400 divided by 2, so that is 200. Then, multiply natin. Kasi, di ba, division and multiplication, we should do them from left to right. So, after nito, i-multiply natin 200 times 5, the answer is 1,000. So, lagay natin si 120 dito plus 5. So, 1,000 minus 120, that is 880, 80, and then plus 5. So, the final answer is 885. Again, so, pag, pag nakita natin na meron tayong division and then multiplication, tapos subtraction and addition, uunahin natin syempre yung uh, division and multiplication from left to right. So, yun yung inuna natin. Tapos, saka natin minus subtraction and then addition from left to right then so the final answer natin is 885 mat try nga perform the indicated operations number 1 for number 1 unahin natin yung Nasa parenthesis, inside the parenthesis. So, 12 plus 3 is equals to 15, then minus 7. So, the answer is 8. Next, number 2. For number 2, unahin natin syempre yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, 6 plus 8 is equals to 14, then multiply by 4. So, kung mapapansin natin dito, wala tayo ditong... Um, sign. So, kapag ganyan, ibig sabihin yan, multiply natin. So, 4 times 14 is equals to 56. Number 3. For number 3, so, the expressions involves division and addition. So, uunahin natin si division. So, 25 divided by 5 is equals to 5, then plus 9. So, 5 plus 9 is equals to 14. Number 4. For number 4, unahin natin syempre yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, 18 minus 4 is equals to 14. Then, 5 plus 3 is equals to 8. 14 plus 8 is equals to 22. For number 5. Number 5, unahin natin yung nasa toob ng parenthesis. So, 6 divided by 3 is equals to 2. Then, 10 times 3 is equals to 30. Then, add. 2 plus 30 is equals to 32. If you got 5 correct answers, good job! Now, you are ready to answer the learning tasks 2 and 3. Go for it! Good luck! Thank you for watching Mathematics 5. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!